Hello everyone, I am Santosh and welcome to my channel Learning Bits. In this video, I am just going to discuss how we are going to draw a triangle in OpenGL program and how we are going to rotate this. So while rotating, uh, so by default in an OpenGL program, by default, the rotation will be always at the origin. Hence, we call this as triangle rotation about the origin. It's by default. You need not do any additional logic or technique over here. If you just call the rotation function, it is going to rotate the triangle with respect to the origin. And now, uh, if I want to rotate at any fixed point, so which we call this as a pivot point. So if I'm going, if I want rotation something like this, because if it's at the origin, the triangle will rotate around this origin. Whatever rotation I'm going to apply, it is go is going to be with respect to this origin as the rotational point. But now, if I if I want the rotation to happen at this point of the triangle, then we are going to call this as fixed point rotation, or we are going to call this as pivot point. And uh, we need to use some technique here. We need to use some technique and make sure the rotation will be applied to the point whichever I'm going to choose now, including origin. It should be able to rotate at any given point. Hence, that is where we are going to discuss in this particular program. Hence, now we will shift. So now, this is the basic program which we need to have all these APIs. And if you are not familiar with these APIs, so please check out my previous videos. So where I have been discussed about the first OpenGL program, in that I have been in detail explained what is the use and how to make use of these APIs. So now in this lab, using this basic APIs, we are just going to apply the rotation to the triangle. But before that, we need to draw the triangle. Hence, so while drawing the triangle, either it can be a polygon, the polygon of the three points what I'm going to use. It can be of the three points or, or I'm just going to make it as just an outline. So now rather than having a solid polygon, I'm going to have just an outline of a polygon so that the rotation will be clearly visible even if it is overlapping the other triangle also. Hence, now what exactly what we are going to do here is, so we are going to have two triangles. One is going to overlap the other. And while while the other I'm keeping con constant, I'm going to rotate the only the other triangle. And that is what exact thing that we're going to do here. Hence, for that case, so first of all, I'm just going to have GL begin. And I'm going to say GL triangle. So let me first, let me first draw. Or uh, instead of saying GL triangle, because if I use GL triangles, it is going to draw me a polygon, a solid interior. I don't want the interior ends. I'm going to use GL line loop. I'll be using GL line loop so that I'll be having only the outline of the triangle. And with this, so GL end, I'm going to have GL end. And for this GL begin, for this GL begin, I'm just going to give three points for this. And so I'm going to have GL vertex. This is a 2D program. And so I'm going to use GL vertex 2F. And I'm going to give the point as 0 0.2 in the X axis. And in the Y axis, again, it will be 0 0.2, the first point. And similarly, I'm going to give other points. And so I'm going to copy this, paste, and paste for the third point. And I'm going to have the same Y value, but I'm going to give this as 0 0.4. And rather than giving the 0 0.2, let me give this as 0 0.4 and the next point is going to be something in between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 for me or if you or if you want something like 0 0.3 it's going to be exactly in center of the x of the first point x of second point exactly at the center the x of the point 3 and this i'm going to give this as 0 0.6 so let me execute this and see how exactly this has been drawn Fine, so if the triangle appears too small, so let me give a bigger triangle. Hence, I'm going to give this as 0 0.6, this as 0 0.8, and we'll see. Uh, this is this is not big enough. Fine, now these are the points what I've given to draw the triangle. You can just try out with whatever the points you require. 
and now this is the triangle what I am just going to draw. So now this triangle whatever I have been drawn this should be for me in the color blue hence I am going to call the function gl color 3f and I am going to give 0, 1 and 0. It is going to be in green color so let me make it to be in blue. So if you want you can have any specific color what you require. But right now I just want it to be blue color and so I am going to have the first triangle in the blue color. So now I want the second triangle too. The second triangle should be overlapped on the first triangle itself. Hence I am just going to copy the same points because it needs to overlap. Hence I am just going to make this as the red triangle. Right? So copy this. So now the blue will be overlapped with the red color. So now I have got two triangles now. Now what I should do is, I just want to apply the rotation. I want to apply rotation and the rotation should be applied only for this triangle. And for that case, for that case, I am just going to call the rotation function as GL. So rotate, GL rotate F. And what is the degree of rotation you require? That is, I will just say 45 degree. So with respect to Z axis. If you want the rotation with x axis, this should be 1, and if it is y axis, this can be 1. And now I want rotation with respect to z axis, and so I am going to give 1 for this. And whenever you are going to have rotation function, so make sure you are going to load this with identity matrix, and so I am going to have GL load entity. So compile this and execute. So now you can see the rotation has been applied with 45 degree keeping the origin this is the origin right now keeping this as the origin point the rotation has been applied so now i don't want the rotation to be applied at the origin right now if i want because this is the rotation which we have applied with the origin keeping the origin as an rotational point by default now i want the rotation to be shifted to any pivot point i want it to be shifted to any pivot point so in that case in that case, whenever I want to apply such operations, I need to use GL translate. I need to use GL translate. The trick is I'll be using GL translate. So now I need to shift. I need to shift the triangle to the origin, and next I need to shift the rotation component or shift the entire entire origin or the complete coordinate system to the point where you require. And later on, I'm going to reshift that triangle. So now, for example, at this point, if I want the rotation, then I'm going to give it as 0 0.1 as the x value, y value is 0, 0.0, and z is going to be 0. And next, I'm going to apply rotation. And after applying rotation, I'm going to retranslate. That is, I'm going to negate these values. Fine. So now, once I compile this, if I execute, Rotation is going to be with the point pivot point which I require now whatever the point I'm going to give Now if I if I want rotation to happen if I want rotation to happen with respect to this point I can make it to happen. So for that whatever the point I've given you I'm just going to give this as 0 0.7 and 0 0.4 and I need to negate this value and so I'm going to give this as 7 If I execute this so 45 degree rotation will be happen with respect to this point. So this is how we are going to rotate with respect to the origin and with respect to any fixed point what do I require. Fine. So now let me just uh, generalize this program rather than having constant value every time with the degree amount of degree what do I require. So let me let me generalize this program that is so now let me call this as pivot point. Hence, I'll call this as Px and I'm going to call this as Py. Now, this points can be anything. And now, this should be as this should be minus Px and this is going to be minus Py. Instead of having every time 45 degree of rotation, so let me change this as R. So, for rotation. So, now, these are the variables which I need to fill in. Hence, I'm going to use this as global variable gl float and the rotation and i'm going to have px and i'm going to have py 
So now whatever the value I'm going to give. So let this values be specified by the user to the console. Hence I'm going to say printf and I will ask the user. So enter, so enter the, enter the rotation reference rotation reference point so which we call this as pivot point fine and now i'm going to have a scan f percentile d and address of px address of py but these are the values, these are the floating point values and should, should be percentile F and percentile F. Fine. So now once this is done, I need to even ask the user to enter the rotational. I need to ask the user to enter amount of rotation and so enter rotation degree. Enter rotation degree. And this is going to be percentile F and address of capital R. So save this and I'm going to compile and execute this. So now what's the rotation point you require? I'm just going to give point like uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. A rotation angle let it be 90 degree fine now for the, this is the 0 0.5 0 0.5 and rotation is going to happen with respect to that degree over here so if i if i want to give this as the point if i want to give this as the point now let me check out what is that point is going to be it's going to be 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 i'm going to give the input as 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 and execute this 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 and uh, i'm going to give that degree as 60 degree fine this is going to be 60 rotation with respect to with respect to this point fine similarly i can give any point over here now this program is going to work for fixed point as far as this will work for origin also if you are going to give the input as 0 0 and if I'm going to give 90 degree, now this is going to be 0, 0, and this is going to be the 90 degree rotation. It's going to be 90 degree rotation with respect to this triangle. And this is how we are going to draw a triangle and rotate, rotate the triangle with respect to a fixed point or the origin. And this is all what I want to discuss in this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have liked this video, please comment about it. And for further such similar videos, subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.